guys, so in today's video we're going to be doing a studio tour at Universal Studios in Hollywood. That'll be really good to vlog this. My dad's on one. And we're going to vlog this so you guys can see it. So we're in line, we got the fast pass, we film the video, everything that I can on the tour. Somewhere over there. We lost my wife. She's yeah, gone. Yeah, she wasn't feeling good, so she's back at the hotel. Fans, if you're taking the tour today for the very first time, any first time, guys. It's not. Uh, so, you guys, we're going to get going right now. There's a lot of filming going on on the pipeline. So if you look on the right-hand side, we're approaching uh, Fire Station 51. Now, you're going to look at this, and you're going to think that that's a set for a movie or a TV show. That's a real fire station. Zip code 91608. We have our very own fire station, sheriff station, gas station. You guys watch The Voice. If you watch The Voice, you know today's a big day. The contestants are going to perform for the last time because tomorrow they're going to crown the winner. So that's where they're in there right now. So they're getting ready. They're going up. They're going to be heading inside these golf carts and the vans and stuff and heading around the corner and going inside the sound stage. So if they're inside there rehearsing or going over some song, I don't want to ruin a shot. So they ask us to lower our volume. Two sound stages, 43 and 44. We're going to be recognized. And I'm going to point a couple of them out. This is the Jennifer Lopez. And she has her own production company called The Eureka. The executive produced the show World of Dance that built here at Universal. This is our Metropolitan set. And the buildings that you're about to see, they're going to look real. They're not. No, these buildings over here are literally made out of wood and plastic, plaster, styrofoam, foam, rubber, fiberglass. Look at this. It's all fake. All these buildings, they might look real, they're not real at all. Look down this alley though, if you look down this alley, you're going to see all the brick there. That's all plastic, there's not one real brick. <laughs> now, it's the holidays, you're going to see a lot of holiday movies on TV, like this one, on the right hand side. See that row of houses with the steps coming down? Guys, that's Kevin McAllister's uncle's house at Home Alone 2, lost in New York. Remember, he gets a pop, he throws the bricks out, his Joe Pesci on the head. It's also where this guy lived in Bruce Almighty. Raise the door! <laughs> the Hill Valley, home to the Back to the Future films. If you look on the right hand side, there's the gas station. That's the gas station where the diner was. And if you look to your left, you can see the clock tower there. Across the street, take a look. This is New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco, London, Moscow. This could be any place in the world at any given time. This is the most used street auto star. Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber, Chris Brown, Nicki Minaj. They come out here and do a lot of things because they have full control over their environment. And there was a movie that came out this summer, August 3rd. It was the number one movie in the world. The movie I'm referring to is Fast and the Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. If you saw Hobbs and Shaw, there's a great scene where Idris Elba is on his motorcycle. He's going through the streets of London and he's jumping on the cars. The windows are breaking. This was London for that scene, yeah. So uh, we shot that whole sequence here. Hey, that's where you're going right now. And Logan, you're going to experience something totally different, King Kong. So guys, here's the man who directed that and put that all together is Peter Jackson. It's the original King Kong. VW mug with a big Ferrari shell on top. That's the one the stunt guy drove around for Tom Selleck. But uh, you're going to see Biff Tannen's car next to that one from Back to the Future. Back to the Future Part 2. These are the cars that Marty saw flying around the future in 2015. We have the Flintstone cars, and if you're a fan of the Fast and the Furious films, these are the actual drift racers right here. These are the actual ones. And then we have the gyrosphere from Jurassic World. Remember the kids were in that bubble, it was covered in glass? Well, there it is, but you don't see any glass around it here. The car is going around, they're Mercedes. That's called product. And we also have dinosaurs on the right hand side. If you look on the right hand side, you can see in this cage over here, the dinosaurs. Uh oh, wait a minute, where'd the dinosaurs go? I promise you guys, I'm not kidding you, there were dinosaurs in those cages last tour I did. Okay, so we're just going to continue on because I have no idea where they are. As we start to cruise by, you're going to oh my gosh, whoa! That is a thing that is happening. They made an announcement uh, a few weeks ago that Jeff Goldblum, Sam Neill, and Laura Dern are all coming back to reprise their role in the first film, which is really exciting. But that's how we can create weather here in Hollywood. So get a picture, get a little video. 
And now watch what happens when I hit the red button. It'll turn off instantly because I'm controlling it. All right, watch this. One, two, three, look. Boom, I hit that red button and it turns off just like that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna watch out first car, watch out, here it comes, watch out! Ooh. Oops. Sorry guys, I hit the wrong button. You're gonna film about six movies at one time, and in one year, 250 movies could come just from this one road. That's Kirk Douglas. He celebrated his birthday last week. He's 103 years old. Amazing. The camera's going to a bad place. Maybe it's not all that bad. Also driving to the fictional country of Genovia for Princess Diaries 2 Royal Engagement. This is what it looked like back then. So we have these torch wheeling villagers looking for that monster at Frankenstein in 1931. They told the uh, Universal told them not to get rid of it. They told them to leave it here, and we have been renting this out since uh, since nine for nine years practically. Uh, yeah, since they were done filming. And uh, there was an episode of uh, another TV show in here and a music video two years ago with Nicki Minaj. Uh, it was also Chris Brown, DJ Khaled, Lil Wayne. They were filming in here. It was really cool. And they have this little uh, just like cage on top of the platform here. There was oh, oh my gosh! You guys feel that? We're having an earthquake. <laughs> We're having an earthquake. Okay, stay in your seats, guys. Stay in your seats. Earthquake. Oh my gosh. Well, let's go get into going crazy back there. This is the big one they warned us about. Hit the brakes. Get the out of the house. Big whoop, right? Now my buddy George, he helped me catch the shark and he's in the water right now. He's doing one final sweep of the harbor. I want to make sure everything's okay. Look at the boat. What are you doing? What is he? Like, you need to get out of the water, dude. What? Ew. Okay, that's not good. Okay, he's just, he's fine, guys. He's all right. He's just really dramatic. There he is. Oh my gosh, look out, it's a shark. Whoa! Look out, it's a shark. Whoa! right here in front of you on the right hand side. They used over two million linear feet of styrofoam. Enough artificial snow was used to cover nine football fields. And this is the largest production to ever film on our property in our entire history. They used 11 sound stages at one time and a large portion of our back lot during filming. Uh, I will warn you though, their next door neighbor wasn't just the Grinch and his dog Max. Here at Universal, this guy was a psycho. Oh yeah, the incredible Bates Motel and Psycho House. Two of the most famous sets in Hollywood are still standing on our lots this very day. We're out of here. Take a chill middle. Oh, you're still walking towards us. Hey, fourth car, you're on your own fourth car. Good luck. We desert for about $50,000 in one piece. They spent in total eight months purchasing, destroying, transporting, and filming. But if you go back and you watch this movie, you see it on screen for only four minutes. Four minutes of screen time. Now look at the left hand side at the top of the hill. Do you see those houses up there? Those are real houses. If you don't know that, keep on me. Listen now, man. Listen, I want you to close your eyes, okay? Down close to me. Playing on a cop car, it was all flooded with water that was all fake. The only thing real was Beyonce, the cop car, and a little bit of water. Um, yeah, but guys, what we're doing right now is we're going inside Sullivan's truck repair. This is where the guys from Fast and Furious always have their race day after parties. There is no need for you to put your 3D glasses on yet. Doc Toretto is here too, so we're in good hands. Uh, go ahead and put your 3D glasses on if our buddies at Warner Brothers. See Warner Brothers? Warner Brothers, ABC is right behind them, NBC and Disney Studios. Guys, those are our friends. They film here, we film there. We're all one big happy family. We work in this industry together right down below you can see our studio